have a Cruel Angel thesis stuck in my head, which is the... Oh, yeah, Cruel Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neon, yeah. Neon, Neon Genesis Evangelion. That song is so fresh. Have I fucking you, love that song. Have you seen, um, the, like, the uh, Ukrainian military band yes. perform that song? It's yes. so good. It makes me so happy. That dude dances, like... Yeah. like he, he dances like a board of wood. <laughs> Honestly, but it's like the freshest board of wood. He's throwing down all the moves. Oh, uh, yes. Such a good song. So we're talking about... Alright, yeah. Anyway, this is the final video. Yep. <laughs> is that a UFO? Oh, it's a UFO that I'm on. <laughs> oh! Let's finish this. Enter the Octobot King. Alright. This one I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to have this volume up a bit, because it's worth hearing. And, like, it shouldn't be a problem for the video if it's all synced correctly. Okay. How do you feel going into this? I'm not sure what to expect. I'm excited, though. That's good. That's fresh. Oh, is that the Great Zapfish? Yep. Oh, he's an eel. It's Larry. Stay back, Asian 3. It's a trap! Yeah. Star Wars. Figures. But we don't have... But we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. It looks so ugly. <laughs> what? I think it looks cute. It looks like a catfish. It looks like yeah. a... Yeah. That's kind of the point. A catfish Are plus catfish like electric, like eels? They have, like, mythology about that, I mm. think. Like, it's a Japanese thing. Oh, it's like, whoa! He just slurped that up like a ramen noodle. It's a Dr. Zap... man. <laughs> Dr. Zapbotnik? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oof. <gasps> I love him! He's so cool. He looks like a samurai. I'm about this. Ooh! Guahaha! Ha, I'm gonna remix your face! DJ Octavio. So this is DJ, DJ Octavio. <laughs> He's the final boss of Splatoon and also a DJ. That's cool. Oh, this reminds me of. No, oh, no, never mind. You gotta ink his fists back at him when he okay. shoots him at you. You can see they turn to your color. Splatoon ah. has kind of a jet. Set jet radio. Yeah, yeah. I saw a post about. I saw this like. I don't think I reblogged it because it was like really long and I didn't read all of it. Yeah. But it, like, it's about the like aesthetic style that ah! was like shared by Splatoon and uh, Jet Set Radio and also some other things. It's it's very similar. That's the type of vibe because it's like you know you're kind of graffitiing around and there's like some music. Yeah, and like, like it's just for the young fresh kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that was a mm. fun game. I don't know anything about Jet Set Radio actually. Um. I know I like the way it looks. Yeah, you you just go around and you're just like graffitiing stuff. We tried to play it once. Yeah. Along with Echo the Dolphin. Oh yeah. Did you do it on a Dreamcast? Uh, we did it with like a Dreamcast emulator. Oh. Thing. Well, like, like it was a it was an official thing. Yeah. Like, it was like a bundle of a bunch of Dreamcast games. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, song. <laughs> you all ready for this? Uh, laser. Or bomb. Shoot it. Big old bomb. Yeah. Back. Oh. Also, smaller bombs. I think he's on their so cool. Also, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, it has sunglasses. It has like oh. those blind. Yeah, look at its sunglasses. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice. <laughs> this is the Rawr. freshest guy ever. I know there are some torpedoes that that are actually slimy octaries. little hipster. Yeah. Oh my god. This is well, exactly well. what I am. After him. Like you, you've got me pegged, good sir. Watch out, Agent 3. He's packing a Ooh, laser. Yes. Oh, Jesus. So, I, I actually, I, the, these torpedoes he's shooting at you now, I don't think those are actually people in there, like Octarians in there, but because I don't see any tentacles Whoop. on them. But oh, I still got it. Some of, sometimes Whoop. they are. You gotta check I thought those. I had to keep going. Like, I thought I'd... But he's still gonna attack me with them fists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, like his, I like his little, like, shogun hat. He's so cute. Yeah. I, I, he got a good aesthetic on. I also like these big, like, like tentacle, like speaker things in the background. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like it all works. Like the the the, the aesthetic of this, like you know, like, Ooh, like it, it's like squids and, and tentacles and stuff. There. It's it's like it, you know, you know, like Japanese mythology aesthetic, like you know. DJ's punk and stuff, like 90s. DJ's like, freshy fresh. It's all, <laughs> it, it, it all like meshes very well. Yeah, surprisingly. Like, surprisingly when you think about it. 
Okay, there we go. Also, I think, like, are those, like, leeks that he... What are That's those? That's what I was thinking of. This yeah, he's got some veggies. Kind of, he's, he's the Hatsune Miku of this. Um. Ooh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Octoling Hatsune Miku. Yes. Mm, that, that someone's drawn that before, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, definitely, probably. Like, there's a, like, there's a. Uh, yeah, the, the battle between Purple Kool Aid and Cheetos. There's a character in Blaze Blue who has a color scheme. Like, if you change their colors, it, one of their color schemes is like um, Hatsune Miku. Like, you're doing very well on this. Like, maybe I'm just not good at video games, <laughs> but I had some trouble with this. I mean, it's not the easiest thing. Like, you're making it look easy. Which is, like, you know, it's a compliment. Ah. Well, thanks, I guess. Uh... I would absolutely agree. Like, you are the video game boy. You are the one who wins! It's apparently something that, that like, Aaron said once in a Gengar episode. I don't know what episode he originally said that in, but, like, Something that a quote that Dan really liked, and so he's referenced it like a few times. So. Peep this. I'm, like, I'm curious about where it originally came from. Ah, uh, this again. Yeah, this DJ needs more yo yo yos. Mm. Like yo yos, like using yo yos as weapons. Yeah, <laughs> that too. Earthbound. He needs to be more like play that one, and then I'm all the more. Wow. I love yeah. Persephone so much, and I don't know why. I, he's so cool. He's a good foil he's, to like, head. He's, he's so just cool. very extra. Like, that's his entire character. I know, that's why I love him. He's just loud and extra, and I'm like, ugh, I relate. <laughs> I mean, I do like... I, I like extra characters. Like, they're important. You can't have everyone be an edgy badass all the time. No. Remember earlier in this recording session when we were talking about um, Dragon Ball's EU shoes? Yeah. Like, yes. didn't didn't you tell us the other day, Ghost Wonder, that, that like all the main Dragon Ball Z characters' names are based on food? Yep. Like, well, why don't instead of collabing with shoes, why don't they collab with food? Honestly, like, if they had like Vegeta's have vegetables, I'd absolutely do it. And have food. <laughs> vegetables. Yeah. Oh, yes. What are you vegetables? <laughs> He's drowning in your ink. You uh, can't handle my spicy wasabi beets. Oh, oh is it wasabi God, that he's using? Spicy. Oh. He has some spicy beets. That I, I love. Oh, it's hot. Like, can't he's, handle your beets. He's fresh and he's spicy. Yes. He's got something up his sleeve, Agent Three. Good thing I've got something up my ink. Oh yeah, because those are orbs. Can't you switch? Can't you switch your guns? Or? Um, I don't think you can in this. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I mean, no. Tuka, grab it. Like in the um, Splatoon 2 single player, which we should play on the channel at some point. Like is uh, like you have more weapon choices than that. Like there will be some levels where it forces you to you know use different weapons, Ooh, which man. is fun because it's different weapons. It's fun, and then guys. after you do that, then you can play that level with like any weapon. Oh, true, true. This is like a cluster. Ooh, that was, that was a close one. I mean, yeah, that's kind of the point. Like, Atalia is trying to, like, overwhelm you with just a whole lot of force and ink and stuff. Yeah, his spicy beats. <laughs> spicy <Yeah. laughs> I do really like that. But, like, also, like, the, the background music, like, he is playing the, that music. Ah, yes. That's good. I like that. And like he, he said, he was gonna remix your face, which is like. Uh, that is the like, scariest thing that a, someone could ever I mean, say is, is that more of a metaphor or a simile? Because like, I mean, what he's saying is he's gonna like punch you really hard and you know, give you a black eye and a broken nose. And I stuff. think he's being as literal as he can be about it. I mean, it it works. Like it makes sense as a, as a threat. Like I'm just wondering how you classify it. He's gonna remix your face, featuring the pitbull. Man, I love that song. <laughs> Is that a song? Is it? No, okay. but... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If there was a song called You're Your Face... You're about to get mashed up. Mm. You about to get mashed up. This man is the freshest and the coolest like, and the dopest. You kind of seem like you're going to do this on your first try. I really hope you do, because... Like, <laughs> don't jinx it! <laughs> uh, yeah, that there, I knocked on the wood. Oh, good, yeah. That, is good. that, un that undoes your moves. Yeah. Is Jinx the Pokemon weak to wood type moves? Um, no. I, does he not have a health bar? 
I think he he has like phases. He takes a certain number of hits, you know. Yeah. Like the Mario rule of three, but more because it's final boss. Like instead of you he having really attacks like that do damage, you do hits to him, and you just you know, do enough. Yeah. Like, and yeah, it goes to phases. Like, you know, it would be kind of nice if you could see how many more hits you needed, but it's also it also adds to the suspense that you don't know how much longer it's going yeah. on for. Like, how how much more spicy can he get? Please give me another iconic line. Do you even know who you're messing with? Aww. Yeah, it's pretty good. Way to be, Agent 3. Way to be. So, uh, like, Fortress, did you Blast ever... those octo... Hmm. octo keys. Had you ever seen, you know... Octo like, There you go. Octo... Had yeah. you ever seen uh, cool. DJ Octavio before? No. Good, good, because, like... This, this is my like, first time. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I... Like, specifically for you, because I know you're playing Splatoon and stuff, like, if there were, you know, like, Tumblr posts involving him, then I would tag those spoilers. Hmm. Oh, yeah, invisible cars here. That was oh, from the well, game. I shouldn't be here yet. Oop. I tried to move on too early. Lost my armor. I got invisible walls up there. That's that's an Octarian technology, I guess. Oh, okay. I mean, that makes sense. Also, I don't know what type of Octarian Octavio is. He's like, he seems like just an octopus. Like, like probably the, the most pure Octarian, then. Like... Ooh, maybe? He's an Octoling, but he's just in his octopus form, like, all the time. Yeah. Like, that makes sense. Hmm. That, that's interesting. That's an interesting life choice to make. No, I mean, how, like, if he wasn't in his form, he probably, like, couldn't effectively pilot his DJ stand. I mean, it's kind of designed for him. Like, he's a DJ, he's also, like, a military leader, so probably has a lot of money and stuff mm. to spend on, you know, yeah, true. like, personalized equipment. Yeah, per personalized, like, spicy wasabi ass kicking equipment. Exactly. Squid kicking equipment. Ah, uh, yes. So, so like, like a fan yeah, of weapons of mass splat. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he's a fan of fists, on, like on his weapons, but not on his body. I guess. Yeah. I just been staring at him. He's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> he has like arms crossed, and he's using his other little tentacle weapon. It's yeah. so cool. Yeah, his arms crossed, and he's also using his arms to do other arm things. Honestly, the man is multitasking. Genius. Like he's got eight of them. Yeah, all of that too. How does he walk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for him to like move away, like retreat in such a way that I'll have to move up. Yeah, I mean it's just uh, it's just a matter of hitting oh, his arms back at him enough times until Those he look does. So sad. And until like... until he gets intimidated oh, yeah, enough to move back and give you different obstacles to deal with. So he's got some nice like lights, a light show behind him there. Yeah. Like, it changes color when I hit him, too. This man is like, it becomes all red. So lit and fresh. Yes. Like, this is a very fresh man, and that makes him the most intimidating. Well, like, like, like you, you, you know, you based on Captain Cuttlefish, and who you'd think his old war buddies would be, you'd, you might, you know, expect the leader of the Octarian army to be some old, like, uh, you yeah, know, that's true. old, unfresh guy, but because, because he is, in fact, so fresh, like, ah, uh, yeah. He is fresh He's... AF. As the kid. Well, I mean, like, Kaiser Cuttlefish, he, he, he's like, from the old war. He's someone, like, Octavio <laughs> is someone you might look up to if he wasn't your enemy. Yeah, honestly. Now, like, yeah, I, I could do that. You need to hit it with the kids. He's got those green eyes that are always, like, in that uh, expression. Ah, uh, yeah. One being a bit more squinted than the other. That's my favorite. Just because he's he's concentrating. That's my favorite. He's, he's like he's multitasking Ooh. right here. Ooh. He's DJing and fighting. Like fighting for what he believed was right. Yeah. Like he he's a very good like final villain kind of looking. Like he's got everything going for him. Mm -hmm. Like everything going for him. Fists and tentacles. Yes. What more could you ask? And like for? missiles, like bullet bill esque missiles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can you move forward now? Oh, maybe not. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You've been here for a while. 
Yeah, but maybe when I hit him, I'm supposed to move forward on my own, like advance maybe. the fight. Yeah, because he, he does sit back. Yeah. Maybe, like, maybe that's so, what it's So my maybe, job. maybe after this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you can. There's no movable wall here now, so this, this is totally the right thing to do. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like you're on a smaller sort of surface area here to avoid his big blasts of sound and purple. Also, purple and orange are you know, good, good contrasting colors to choose. Yes. And orange, orange is like. Yeah, I said earlier, uh, yeah. Cheetos and uh, grape Kool Aid. Orange is kind of like the Splatoon's, you know, flagship color. Yeah. But like, it. It, it's, you know, the, what, the, what the what the inkling on the box is like, like it's it was a good choice for for the the true, you know. I mean, nothing like no one color is really the true canon color of any character that. because they can change their color at will in the lore. But like. Uh, I'd say that, that Asian 3 in, in canon likes to be orange. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that he has a canon favorite. It, it's whichever one, than he it's, it's whichever one you choose. You know? Like, it's you. Caught the tail end of that platform. That made me nervous. <laughs> made me nervous, too. <laughs> Like this timeline, Station Three uses a boy. Alright, fair enough. That's because I'm a boy. Exactly. I chose to be a boy. It's time to d -d drop the sea base. I love him. It's official. Time <laughs> to drop. Or wait, drops. sea bass? Maybe that's. Uh, oh, maybe it was sea bass. Or sea that base because sense. that's a pun. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Isn't Base also a Mega Man character? Yes. Yeah. What's, yeah. what's his personality like? He's anti-hero. But w w would he ever like make a joke about dropping the base? <gasps> oh wait, Base is the orange and yellow one, right? Yeah. He... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Thank you. I do. Like he's the guy with the big like head fins. Yeah. What would Base from Mega Man like say? Time to drop the base and then just fall over. <laughs> God, I would hope so. That'd be funny. Uh, yeah, and he, ti he actually times the bass drop of, of the song that's playing to like the moment that he hits the ground. I have a very distinct memory Whoa. of the carnival level in Mega Man. I think it was Mega Man 8. Was it 8? Hmm. I don't remember. Or Mega Man X. The only Mega Man game I've truly played is Mega Man X, and I've never beaten it. It's hard, <laughs> enough, it's hard stuff, man. To be fair, those, those Mega Man games are a little wild. Wild as in kind of difficult. Yeah, like. Wet yeah. and Wild. I'm not sure I've ever beaten a Mega Man game. I've played plenty. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, wait, that's not true. Like, that's a lie. Fun. I've also played Mega Man 2, I think. It's like a Game Boy game. I got it from the 3DS virtual console. Oh. Console. Oh, is he dead? How dare you? Oh. You've been through like 18 different phases. What's this? Where's my beats? My beats. Oh, is that the... This is the Calamari Incant. Yeah! Agent 3, can Agent, you hear our yeah, song? Can you hear our song? Reading upside down. Radio override activated. Huh? That heavenly melody, it's the one and only Squid Sisters. Oh Don't you worry, your granddaughter's like that. Why is it upside down? Agent 3, take care of Gramps for us, okay? She was holding her walkie talkie upside down. <laughs> Final push, charge! Ooh, this is good. Final push? It's been like the final push. Like, final push to the like the calamari incantation? Final checkpoint. Heck yes. As they say, sometimes the best offense is run for your life. A mood. Look at him, he's jamming out in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at all those lasers in the background, too. Oh my god. Everything's going green wild. lasers. The green lasers. Like, ah. nothing could be more appropriate of a climax for us. True. I love him so much. He's hopping around in there. I want yeah. a plushie of him. <laughs> Although I guess, Armor. like, Pork Shifter, you're the only person here who actually was there for the Dream Laser event. Like, I was asleep. What is the Dream Laser? Well, like, you watched the beach vlog, right? 
the first one? Uh, yes. Yeah, like oh, my arm something again. that like you know, while we were this at the beach, a really tight platform. Was, it was late at night, so like I was sleeping, but the yeah. others were out on the boardwalk and stuff, and there was apparently some like a sign that said, "We have the green laser." And then they went into oh, the store. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. No one knew what they were talking about. That was the first time I've gone to a store and no one knew what I was talking about. <laughs> I would like to hear about another example. Well, I guess maybe it was the first time, but like it wasn't the last time. Again, example. Well, bubbler. Bubbler. I just like to I just like to think that you're like a store cryptid that like everybody's all like this kid is wild. <laughs> I like like someone themselves is a specific cryptid. Yeah. That's, that's fun. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, Lord. Nice use of bubble. Oh yeah, the, 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 the beats right here. Yeah. The, the, this is like, this is like basically the Inkling anthem. <laughs> like, it's a good one. Because it's popular, and Inklings are that shallow. Like, okay. but yeah, it's a good song. It has lyrics that we can't understand because we don't speak Inkling. True. But the, I, I bet they're motivational. I bet so too. Ooh, that guy cut me up. You know, the title of the song is The Calamari Incantation with, like, ink, you know, ink yeah. antation. But also, Calamari, so that, like, they know about Calamari. Just a little farther, Asian 3. Am I doing a good job of making my voices distinct from one another? Yeah, sure. Oh, I've given up on that. Oh. <laughs> well, you don't, you don't need to, because you're only doing one voice here. Okay. I'm gonna dub stomp you into oblivion! Ooh, that's good! <laughs> I've never fallen more in love with a boss so quickly that I have this man. I love him. I'm glad to hear it. Dub stomp! Oh my god. Yeah, that, that sounds like its own genre of music. It's like a more violent version. It could version be. Of dub like stuff. all the like, there are a lot of genres of electronic music that have pretty wild names. Yeah. Or like ones that are like strangely exist. Like I never understood the need for nightcore. Yes. Yeah. No. I, 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 gross. I don't like nightcore at all. It just seems like it's just taking a song and making it faster. Like it's it's songs for impatient people. It's faster, <laughs> more high pitch. Now finish him. Ooh. No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. So, so sad. sad. Cross face to, to black. black. Oh, cross, cross face to, to black. Oh, that's funny. Huh. Reading upside down is funny. I have to turn my head. <laughs> like, can you do it without doing that? Yeah. <gasps> no! That's your. That's a war crime. You. Yes, well, this is war. Like, uh, I will be absolved I mean, of my war crimes. You prevented him life. from committing many war crimes. Yeah. I know, but he was so cool. Wait. Oh. Uh, okay. Nani. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. We got a broadcast. Okay, it's late, but we've got a midnight news flash. Wait, what's going on? What time is it? The Great Zapfish is back in Inkopolis Tower! Whoa! For serious? That's a shocker! Where was it anyway? I guess we'll never know. Well, hey, at least it's back now. Yeah, let's rock! At this hour? Uh, why not? <laughs> She's me. <laughs> like, you really want to turn up at this late at night? Uh... Press R. Shoot, shoot ink. Oh. Ah! Oh, cool. Yay! This is how you see the credits. Ah, oh, that's fun. Yeah, so, how did you, how'd you feel about Splatoon? Now it's over. Good. Oh, hey. What, 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 is, what was your, how do you, uh, describe your experience Like, you played the whole game. Splatoon. Oh, like, it was really cool. Campaign. Like, none of it was, like, there, there was not a single part where I was, like, you know, unentertained by this. Mm -hmm. It's super charming and cool. Oh, that's good. I really like this ending credits. Oh, that's a realistic squid. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is very stupid. Yeah. So, I was... We didn't get the opportunity to do it, but, like, I was gonna... Because, like, the, the level just ended right after the boss fight. Yeah, that so, was a little weird. Like, I think... I think if you go back to the 
final boss and play it again, you'll you'll get to like hang around at the end of it. Because I do know that if you do that, like if you wait a few minutes after you've beaten Octavio, like there'll just be this weird like creepy like sound that'll start to play and oh. you don't know where it's coming from. Huh. I'm this, like, this art is cool, by the way. Yeah. Some of it's been cute, some of it's been interesting, like... Tits. This whole game is really fun. Like, I was oh, surprised... Oh, tic-tac-toe on the Octo Stomp. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Like, I was surprised that the story mode of a multiplayer-driven game was so good. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's Nintendo, not like some people who make a COD, so... <laughs> or whatever, like... Like, like so, not like those, those people who, like, make single-player games that aren't, like... Or like first player game, or <laughs> multiplayer games that have no single player like at all. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Overwatch, Undertale, Splatoon. Hmm. Oh, like. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's the mid. That's the between. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, like like Overwatch is a game about over. Undertale is a game about under. Splatoon is a game about. You know, being on land. Because you can't go in the water. Hmm. Or yeah, else it'll dissolve. True. Is there is there a game that has something to do with like being in the middle? We have over, we have under, we have a middle. This is a nice song too. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's Calvary Incantation, but like a more calm version of it. Cool. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Ocean color, wee. Thank you. Yeah, it's been been rotating through the rainbow. That's fun. This is good. Mm -hmm. I get. Thanks, Hartwig. Also, one try. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, that was a little Very wild. impressive. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah you said now you can use that on your multiplayer. <laughs> I feel like that's the the noob suit. <laughs> like like if you actually wore that in multiplayer, to be like, ah, oh, this guy just also octolings like clothes. Oh, cool. Oh my god. Octolings just have good pumps. Mm -hmm. Wait, are the octolings the one with like the longer? Was like, there an octoling and a squid? Oh, like so the the zapfish is back on my overworld now. Yep. Ah, look at that thing. It's great. Like the main difference, but between like. Inklings and, and octolings. Mm. Well, for one thing, that they actually do have the correct number of ends of tentacles on their hair. So like, oh. s like inklings have ten and octolings have eight. And mm. also like, you know, you know those like suction cups. Yeah. Like inklings have it on the oh. inside of their hair, and octolings have it on the outside. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Also, there's some lore about the Minstrel Tune too, but we won't get into that. We won't like go into that here. We'll wait till the other series. You can stalk them. Well, I wonder, do they have a different animation now that I completed the story mode? I don't think they do, but ah. yeah, they still like they, they, they can't they can't let on that they actually know you personally. Yeah, fair enough. Be revealing too much secrets. Ooh, this is the color. <laughs> it's like All right, so that's it. Such so this place is dead now. I mean, it's if not they like... they killed Meverse. You, <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they did kill Meverse, that is true. But you can still play the multiplayer game, I think. Huh. Interesting. Well, yeah. But that's the end of this one. How long was this? Oh, it was almost a 30-minute video. <laughs> nice. That was a long boss fight, to be fair. Oh, I feel like it was kind of long because I didn't know what I was supposed to do at some points. Like, I was supposed to move up on him mm -hmm. a few times. But it was all fun nonetheless. Yeah! Oh, hey, Captain Crawfish still hanging out in the sewer. <laughs> Over there. Yeah, it's because you can still, you know, go there. Yeah. Get, get some war you Oh, there he is! Bob's out! Ah, oh, look at him! There's Judd. Oh, yeah. We, we learned about his lore. Like, he also did fight in the what war, up, I think. Yeah. It's a fat cat. He gives you advice. Kyle's has a big head. Wow. Whoa, Kyle, you got some. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go to the lobby and play some Dark War Battle to level up. Yeah, because you've literally never played multiplayer. Actually, yeah. Look at this. You're, you are not fresh enough <laughs> right now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, like, I'll Zero be in this video. Alright. Good ending. Like, Solid ending. Splatoon will return at some point. I don't know when. Yeah. Can't wait to get my ass kicked in the Octo expansion. <laughs> See you later. Freshigator. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh.